I'm a thrill seeking guy, but I'm, I'm a law abiding citizen. I pay my taxes, but I needed thank, to catch thank up. Thank you with, for throwing in that yes, you pay just your taxes. Wanted to just make That's good. Your, good to know. Make, well, pass the four way test. Right. Um, but I wanted to catch up with those guys. So because they have GPS, I do not have GPS. So long story short, I'm talking to Corey. I look at my rear view mirror and there is an Arizona state trooper behind me. And I've never been pulled over on a motorcycle. I've ridden motorcycles for a long time, never been pulled over. And um, I pulled her over. I'm talking to Corey. I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta go. I hang up and I get off my bike. You know, I flip my little helmet up and he says, do you know how fast you were going? I said, sir, I'm so sorry. I had no idea how fast I was going. And he said, um, I was doing 120 to catch up to you. Ooh. And I was in, I believe we were in Indian reservation territory in Arizona. Right. So um, I, I freaked out, but he said, Hey, uh, slow down, meet with your friends. Don't be an idiot. And so of course, the first thing I do is I call Alan. I'm like, do you know what just happened to me? You won't believe it. And he said, Hey, Nimrod. Uh, and he starts reading me the ride act of what could have happened three days in jail. They take the bike you know, I, I would not survive in jail. I'm very delicate. I would not survive in jail. But um, and we, we had a hoot. And it was, I just it was one of those things where you used to hang out with your friends. And I, I love life. You guys know me. I love life. I love my kids. I love my wife. Motorcycles is like a close third. I just I just love everything about them. I love riding. I love hanging out with my friends. So doing that, getting to go get dirty for a couple of days. Um, it was just a hoot. So I just want to share that and I'll certainly pay the usual. Well, thank you, Aaron Struck. There's a lot there. There's a lot there to unpack. <laughs> and you know what's good is we've got some time. So I'm going to start unpacking it. Um, so I noticed you had a qualifier. You said, I don't speed on my motorcycle. <laughs> did you know did you know you qualified it that way? Uh, I did. I, I did qualify that. Okay. Hey, I, I, I drive a I drive a very white F one fifty. I'm very vanilla. Right. I wear very white vanilla. Shirts. You pay There's your taxes, no, which you made taxes. sure to tell us. Right. Yes. Which is good. That's very good to know <laughs> that you pay your taxes. Okay. So you were in some reservation territory, which on I forty, which I'm guessing you were on. I believe so. Yeah. yeah it's right. It usually, it's right over the border from New Mexico in Arizona. And you pay and you pass through a pretty big chunk of that. So how how far ahead of the uh, of you were the guys? Uh, it took me about going the speed limit. It took me about 10 minutes to catch up to him. Okay. So you're going the speed limit. So, uh, did you, now did, once you caught up with the guys, did you go the speed limit for the rest of the trip? Uh, no, no. Okay, good. Well, I appreciate that. You kept the forward says, Oh, we've got Mr. Layman wants to oh. chime in. Mr. Layman, sir. <laughs> well, I didn't know I was chiming in, but I'll chime in. I, I'm well, you cute. look like you want to say something. Well, I'm, I'm really trying to figure this out because I was not on this trip. He no, I cannot make it. Well, right, I could so, not make this so trip, when Aaron called you, you were in Modesto, USA. I was sitting right here in my office. Okay. And you said, Aaron, you Nimrod. Well, I might have. I might have. Might may have. <laughs> right. Okay. But I'm, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to unpack this story as well. And he caught right. up. He caught up 10 minutes later. Yeah. Because the rest of my buddies, we don't, they don't drive the speed limit either. Right. So I'm, I'm not a math wonder, guy. You're the engineer. I'm wondering how that works. I'm wondering how you catch up to people who aren't driving the speed limit by driving the speed limit. Uh, I purposely knew it, this is like the second time in my life I've ever been pulled over by a police officer because I follow the rules. I knew that because when he left me, he was ahead of me and I knew that he was going to be hanging out up there. And so I purposely went, I think it was 55 or 60, which on a motorcycle is painfully slow. But it took me a while. Right. I may have taken more than 10 minutes to catch up to. So Alan, four, you're the engineer, so four, you'll four you're gonna have to put I, pen to paper and uh, tell you. figure this out. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to take his word for it. Uh, two motorcycles leave New Mexico at the same time. One has Aaron Strzok, who pays his taxes, who's <laughs> going very fast. The other is a gang of his friends going the speed limit. I don't know. I don't know how this works, but Aaron, thank you very much for uh, telling us about this trip, for being a good sport, and uh, for toasting yourself. I'm gonna join in because you are such a vanilla guy, you drive a white truck, and I know it took everything in you to, you know, to tell about this, uh, tell about this running with the law, this brush with the law you've had, you scoff law you. So I'm gonna join in to toast you on this post that you've That's made. That's nice of you, thank you. Thank you.
Okay. Alan, feel free, Alan. You know, I mean, this is your oh, opportunity. Oh, yeah, Alan. Yeah, but now we raise, it's for a good cause, Alan. You're a good guy. You save all that money in gas because you didn't go on the trip. Feel free. Yeah, you, you, you know, he's got a good point. Uh, you didn't go on the trip, so you saved a lot of money yeah. there. So you could jump in. Alan. Not to put you on the spot, but. Yeah, I could. All right. Put, put me down. I, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of a real smart remark to go with it. Have, I know. It, yeah. it, has, it has a case to <laughs> When in doubt, just but, it up. but I'd be happy to. There you go. Great. Right. Thank you, Alan. We appreciate that. President designee Alan Lehman. All right. Thank you again, Aaron Strzok.